Hi you guys, I'm starting off this vlog. Oh, I didn't put my mic on. Hopefully it's okay. Starting off this vlog, heading to Barnes and Noble. My husband's in the background changing our son's diaper. Was that a fart? Oh. We're heading into Barnes and Noble, my favorite Barnes and Noble. If you don't know, my favorite Barnes and Noble is the one at Wesley Chapel because it has two floors. Well, I have a couple Barnes and Nobles. I like this one the most because it has two floors, it has so many book options, and it's always just so fun. Plus, they have a big kids section as well, and it's always so fun to explore it with my son. But we're just having a family day, and my husband's off from work for the next couple of days, so we're just gonna spend some time together. We are going to be pretty much out and about the next couple of days and I thought I would vlog starting with this Barnes trip and then afterwards probably hit up some of the stores here in the Wesley Chapel area and then probably go to Target as well. So I'm very excited to bring you guys along. I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, at least a family vlog. So I'm very excited and let's just get started. Barnes and Noble location because although I really enjoy the one in the Wesley Chapel area, it was very, very busy today and it was just a lot of crowds, a lot of people, and I don't I don't like book browsing when there's a ton of people, but I also forgot today's Sunday, so it makes sense that there is a ton of people there. But also I don't like filming in crowds because then I don't want to film someone without their consent. So I quickly browsed and then dipped. So we're at a new location in Carrollwood and this one's a lot more laid back. It's like the old school Barnes and Noble, not the fancy ones that are popping up left and right, but this one is very cozy. So we're gonna go check this one out, see what they have. And I'm also in desperate need of a coffee, so I'll probably grab a coffee. We also went to Target, but I didn't vlog much because we literally did a loop around that Target and left. We didn't like it. That's what we've been up to. Oh, and we also went to Panera Bread, but you guys saw that. Let's go check out this Barnes and Noble. What are you doing? Oh, he farted. Oh, are you pooping? Wow, are you pooping? Also, we're not driving in case anyone makes a comment. We're literally parked. I finished nursing him. There's literally no one around us. We parked and I nursed him and then I grabbed my camera to quickly film this clip. But we're not driving, so don't worry. All right, Nathaniel? Nathaniel, did you poopy?
Guess how many books I bought at Barnes and Noble today? We went to two Barnes and Nobles. Guess how many books I ended up buying? Zero. I bought zero books. Nothing was appealing to me. I kept picking up books, putting them back, and I just walked away with zero books. That has literally never happened. I always buy books whenever I go into Barnes and Noble, but today I was just not, not feeling it. I think it's because all of my books are currently on the floor. Oh, my son. My son's coming. Hi, how'd you find me? I left him in the living room with his dad. Hi. He probably heard me talking. I was like, who is mom talking to? You were supposed, you were supposed to be eating. What are you doing over here? You look at you full of black beans. You were supposed to be eating, honey. <laughs> he has black beans all over his mouth. No, you can't grab the camera, honey. Look at your black bean face. Look at your black bean face. But yeah, I ended up getting zero books, and I think it's because all of my books are currently on my bedroom floor, and that has been overwhelming me. I need to, at some point this week, hopefully in this video, organize my bookshelves because they're a mess. I took all of my books from my bookshelf so I could organize my books by genre and stuff, but it's been more than a week and my books are still on the floor. And I think that's why I really wasn't in the mood to buy any more books. I didn't want to add to the pile on my floor we need to go clean your mouth yeah i'm getting our things ready right now because we're heading to the beach tomorrow which i'm very very excited about it'll be our first time taking nathaniel to the beach it'll be my first time going to the peach po peach it'll be my first time going to the beach postpartum and i'm really looking forward to it i've missed the ocean so much but it's also a, a work trip because i have to film for a brand i'm filming a campaign for miracle suit which i'm very excited about they are a swimsuit company and i have one of the swimsuits here i also have to show you guys our new bed sheet that i'm very excited about that is what being an adult is all about getting excited over new bed sheets anyways this is one of the bathing suits that i have to film with tomorrow it's super cute a one shoulder has a really nice rush detailing also this isn't sponsored or anything they're not paying me to talk about them in this video i'm actually just filming content for them for their social media and marketing none of what i film is actually going to be posted on my accounts it's just for their social medias but they sent me three bathing suits this is one of them and then i have another one here that I was trying on before I came on camera and I messed it up. Okay, I think I fixed it. This is the second one, so cute. Very different from what I would typically pick out, but I really, really love the pattern. And these suits suck you in, you guys. Like, I felt so secure, especially since breastfeeding, if I'm being completely honest and transparent, my boobs don't sit where they used to, which I'm not complaining. I've been able to feed my son for almost a year. I've been able to nurse him, breastfeed him, provide him nutrition, so I am no way complaining that it's just a sacrifice that i was willing to make but it feels good to slip on a bathing suit and for the bathing suit to actually hold your girls up and feel secure especially as a mom where you're constantly bending down picking up your kid you want a bathing suit that's going to make you feel secure you can't wear like a skimpy i mean if you want you could but for me i don't want to wear like a skimpy suit and then be worried and feel insecure that something's gonna slip out if i pick up my son you know what i mean so these are really really nice and i'm very excited to shoot with these bathing suits i don't know where i put the third one I think I left it in the bathroom. Oh no, the third one's right here. What am I even saying? This is the third bathing suit. It's the same style as this one, but just in black. You can never go wrong with a black one piece. So I'm getting our stuff ready so we can go to the beach and I can film that and then we can have a little family day and it's gonna be fun, very excited. I also want to share with you guys our new bed sheets. These green sheets, I decided to add a little bit of color into our bedroom because I honestly was getting tired of the white fitted sheet. I mean, I still have the white pillowcase and the white comforter, but I wanted a little pop of color and these are actually grounding sheets. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but on our bed, we had a black mat. It was actually a grounding mat, so we can ground all night if you don't know what grounding is i definitely suggest to look it up there's so many health benefits to grounding it honestly helped me so much during my pregnancy and postpartum stage it's still helping me immensely but we decided to get this sheet woven with silver threads and then it plugs into the wall it doesn't use electricity it just plugs into the wall to ensure that we're grounded all night and i just really like the pop of color i might go back and order the matching pillowcases really really excited about this just thought i would share because we're really into grounding we have been for the past two to three years and i thought i would mention it in case you are into grounding as well and with a cord that you plug into the wall and it's not connected to electricity it just connects to basically the earth and laying on these sheets is the equivalent of being barefoot outside which if you look up grounding and all its benefits it will definitely make sense
sense. I feel like if you are not really into grounding or don't know much about grounding, what I'm saying might sound ridiculous, but once you look it up, I promise it all makes sense. Very, very excited about our new green bed sheets. Very, very happy. They're so comfortable. That's all the updates I have for you guys right now. Gonna finish getting ready for the beach and then probably just have a very chill night in since we've been driving pretty much all day. guys it's a few days later and i feel like i haven't updated you in a hot minute well i actually haven't updated you in a hot minute it's a few days after we went to the beach it was so much fun taking my son to the beach for the very first time and aside from obviously having to get work done and filming the brand deal for miracle suit once that was done it was so fun to just spend time with my little family on the beach my son was so confused by the sand he didn't really like the sand he kept like grabbing it with his little hands and looking at it like like, what is this? Why does this feel so weird? And then we dipped his feet into the ocean, which was so refreshing. I haven't been to the beach in so long. I think it's been almost two years, if not over two years since we last went to the beach. I will say that it was a little stressful. We went to two different beaches. We went to Indian Rocks Beach first. I read online that that one was a lot more low key than Clearwater because we've been to Clearwater, but Clearwater Beach, if you're from Florida, Clearwater Beach and Clearwater area is very touristy and like a lot of tourists go there vacation there for good reason because Clearwater Beach is absolutely stunning but it's always packed so we went to Indian Rocks Beach first which finding parking near that beach was a disaster it was so frustrating I was getting frustrated my husband was getting frustrated because he had kept having to drive in circles my son was like getting frustrated because he was in the car seat we ended up finding parking finally at this nearby church that allowed us to park and then got to Indian Rocks Beach and it was packed and Indian Rocks Beach is a very small when compared to clear water so immediately i was like you know um this is not gonna work because it was literally packed there were people inches from each other like i don't understand why anyone would go to that beach when it was so crowded i wouldn't even want to sit there even if i wasn't filming like i wouldn't want to sit there because you literally have just strangers packed together and it was so uncomfortable so we ended up going to Clearwater beach and that was such a good decision because it was a lot less packed than i originally thought it was going to be which was good and it was a lot more relaxing people were spread out because it's so big there's rooms to spread out and it was just a better decision overall but aside from those little minor hiccups and the little annoyances we had a really good time and i can't wait to take my son again to the beach love doing little things like that with my family if you're a parent if you're a mom and you get nervous going out with your baby that's normal but just go out regardless even if you're anxious go out regardless because you're just going to enjoy the time so much and and despite us having those few little hiccups, we had such a good time at the beach and I wouldn't change anything. It was all so worth it. But we're back home now. It's been very rainy today in Tampa, so I, I think we're gonna have a chill day at home. I want to give you guys a little reading update. I've been reading Powerless. I did take out the sleeve and I'm about 224 pages into this book and I'm really enjoying it. It definitely reminds me a little bit of Red Queen and it's also giving me a little bit of Hunger Game vibes as well, kinda. 
But I'm really enjoying the book so far. I really like the main character, Peyton. I love Kai, who's a male main character. I'm really hoping there's not going to be a love triangle in this series. That's really going to piss me off. I don't know what it is about YA fantasies. Almost every YA fantasy that I've read, there's always a love triangle and it pisses me off so much. So I really hope that this book doesn't go down that route because I'm really enjoying it. Peyton, the female main character, is so strong. She's stubborn. She's feisty, sassy. She doesn't back down from anyone or anything. I love that about her. And then Kai, he's the kingdom's enforcer. So he has to do the kingdom's dirty business. He murders people who are going against the kingdom, but he also has different layers to him. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this book so far. I didn't know if I was going to. I kind of was scared to start it, but now that I've started, I don't want to stop reading. So I think I'm going to take a few minutes to myself while my husband is watching our son in the living room and playing with him. I'm going to take some mom time and lay on my bed and read maybe a chapter or two of this book. Relax, decompress for a few minutes and yeah, and see what else we get up to. Much needed, much, much needed. I am all sweaty and gross right now, but I just finished setting up my bookshelves, cleaning them, moving the shelves. I hope they're even now. I'm gonna be really upset if they're not even. And I also organized all of my books. Well, at least try to organize them into different groups and categories. It's like seven o'clock at night right now, maybe closer to 7.30. So I'm racing against the sun to film this video. This is the first time all day that I've gotten a chance to organize my bookshelves. Literally, I'm a mess. I want to organize all my books and show you guys how I end up organizing my bookshelves. If the sun goes down before I'm able to finish showing you guys how I organize the bookshelves and I'll just show you in the morning but at least I'll get a head start by organizing all the books tonight. So in case you're wondering I have the Billy bookcases from Ikea. I've had them for like three years now. I really like them for how much they cost. They've really held up really well but this is going to be my little book corner over there where that little cushion thing is oh my god the sun right where that cushion is is where i'm going to put my little reading chairs so i can have this as my little reading corner wow that sun is really strong plan on putting shelves on this wall some decor pieces i have like a cute little map that i want to put on this wall i haven't found the chair that i want for my reading corner i think that's going to be a very important purchase because i want it to be cute but i also want it to be comfortable since i'll be sitting there to read that is what i am working with now and I'm gonna try to put all these books away before it's time for my son to go to bed. I think I'm going to be putting in books based on genre and author. So I think I'm gonna start with fantasy first and organize the books in each genre alphabetically by author, if that makes sense. So genre and then alphabetically by author. So I'm gonna put all the fantasy books first right over here and then go into YA, go into romance, thrillers and all that good stuff. We'll see how it looks. I really like how my bookshelves looked when I did it by color, but it's not practical because every book was all over the place and I like to have books by the same author together so I think I'm just gonna focus on genre and author for this time around we shall see how it comes out if I even like it Not even. How you good? Move it uh, down to the right now though. <laughs> the pencil is perfect. 
can barely see that. Oh my god. I'm assuming that's the new one. Yeah. Because <laughs> the last time I did this in the bathroom, we did all waste the old one. Oh. I can do it. The day you getting with me? Come on, I'd, I'd be done. I'd be flying to Mars right now. Okay? <laughs> flying to Mars right now. Even. That's what I'm telling you. It didn't look even when we were doing the TV. I'm like, that's even? Babe, this thing says so. A TV's fine, isn't it? Nice. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think I finally finished somewhat organizing my bookshelves. I got all of my books off the floor, so yay for that. And as you guys saw, then my husband put up some shelves. So these shelves are going to be right next to the chair. Imagine a reading chair right there. I know it's hard <laughs> to like imagine the picture and the, how it's going to look, but pretend there's a reading chair. And then I need to find some cute decor pieces to go next to these two things on the shelves but i really like how the shelves look and i think they're going to look really nice with a reading chair right there and then i need something for this wall because as you guys can see it's a very long plain wall i don't know what to put over here if i should put like a little mirror to open up the space a bit or what if you have any suggestions please let me know but these are my bookshelves as of now ignore that little corner i have to get rid of those things I did include the books that I recently unhauled. I kept them because I haven't been able to drop them off at the library or sell them yet. So I just put them back onto my bookshelves because I didn't want them on the floor or just randomly around our home. I wanted them to be organized, but I do still plan to unhaul the books that I have mentioned in the past. And then I have a little jewelry box that may or may not stay there, but I don't really know what to put on top of the shelves. I don't want anything to crowd the bookshelves and for it to feel crowded. But this is like 90% done. Obviously, I have to buy decor pieces, something for the wall, finish up the shelves, and buy my chair. But I'm going to quickly show you guys how I organize my books. I know that yesterday I mentioned that I was going to organize my books by genre and then by author. I ended up not doing that. I ended up just organizing based on how cute I thought the covers were and by height. I was going to organize it by author, but then it was just too much and I was already tired, so I just organized it based on aesthetics. This is the first shelf. I have, of course, the Queen Sarah J. Maas. I have the first two books in the Crescent City series. I just really like how they look together next to Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. Obviously, once I buy the third book in each series, I'll have to move this around. But for now, I only have the first two books. The third book in the Fourth Wing series is it out yet it comes out next year on the second shelf i just have all of my fantasy novels well most of my fantasy novels i have a court of thorns and roses series i have the throne of glass then i have daughter of pirate king series the six of crows duology the caraval series was the Pot of broken heart red queen series the shatter me series and then i have the kiss curse series so basically all of my fantasy series in one i just like how they look really cute together and then i have the bottom shelf shelf. I'm not in love with this shelf. I might change, but this is what I have so far. I just have the Inheritance Game series, and then I only own the first book in the Natural series. I do want to buy the rest of the books, even though I already read them on Kindle, and I can stack them on top of the Inheritance Game series, but since I only have the first book, the Naturals, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And then I have the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, which I'm actually going to be unhauling, but it's going to stay there for now. Then I have The Silent Patient, Behind Closed Doors, Home Before Dark, Falling, Seven Dirty Secrets, Still Life, some Alice Feeney books, Mexican Gothic, The Final Girl Support Group, A Lesson in Vengeance, Helts of Salt and Sorrows, I Have Joe Hill, We Were Liars, The Housemaid, They Both Die at the End, The Maid, Daisy Darker, and The Stowaway. Moving on to the middle shelf, I have three Lucy Score books that I just absolutely love the cover. I have the first two books in the Things We Never Got Over series. I do need to buy the third book, and then I have Buy a Thread. I just love how they look together. They're so cute. Then I have the Off Campus slash the Briar You series. I do need to buy the rest of the Briar You series, even though I already read them. I do want to own the physical copies so that they can all be together. I'm kind of thinking of buying the updated covers for the Off Campus series because they're so cute. And I have the old cover, which has like just regular humans. <laughs> I don't like it. To be decided at a later date. <laughs> 
And then on the second shelf, I have all of my Colleen Hoover books. I am thinking of unhauling my Colleen Hoover collection aside from Verity and maybe the Slam series because I really love those books, but I don't see myself rereading any other Colleen Hoover book. So I might be unhauling all of these soon. But then I have The Summer Broken Rules, What Happens After Midnight, Maybe Meant to Be by K.L. Wather. Love these three books. And then of course I have The Queen, Emily Henry. I have Beach Read, Book Lovers, People Who Meet on Vacation. I do need to buy Happy Place. I gave that book a 4.75 I believe and I read it on Libby. I absolutely love it. So I do need to buy the physical copy and then I want to buy the new book that's coming out very soon by her so I can have my Emily Henry collection complete. And then I put this little globe that my husband gave me on top of those books and then we have the third bottom shelf so I put basically all of my romantic comedy slash kind of standalone books on this shelf I have the Spanish love deception the American roommate experiment my dark desire I really wanted this book's cover displayed because I think it's so pretty and I love this book absolutely five stars go read it if you haven't read it yet then I have a bunch of other books that I don't really care for behind it so I have every summer after the flat share mr wrong number the dad romantics and then the hating game just so this book wouldn't fall and then i have it happened one summer hook line and sinker when in rome practice makes perfect the cheat sheet again i'm going to be unhauling these three books but for now they're just going to stay here and then i have the worst best man the writing crasher love hypothesis bride love and gelato icebreaker where the crawl dead sing pack up the moon if you want to cry read that book <laughs> it's going to make you cry your eyes out the way i used to be you be home now twisted love twisted games addicted to you archer's voice the fine print and a proposal they can't refuse a bunch of standalone slash ya and then moving on to the third and final bookshelf this is the one where i'm kind of iffy on because i don't really like how it turned out but it's also kind of empty and i need to buy more books to fill it up but so far i have gothicana ruthless vows i do need to buy divine rivals so i can pair them together but i read divine rivals on libby i believe so i don't own the physical copy i do need to buy that one and then i have powerless which the second book comes out soon also a little update on powerless i'm still reading it i'm only halfway through the book but i haven't had time to read these past couple days so i don't really have an update for you guys aside from the fact that i'm still enjoying it i just haven't had the time to read but i'm looking forward to finishing this one and for the second book to come out and then i have 50 shades of gray the 10 year anniversary edition then i have my fave a book assistant to the villain i love this book i want this book display because of the red and i just really like the cover but i don't really like it here these four books here kind of random but didn't know where to put them and then i have my taylor jenkins read books all together and then on the bottom shelf i just have a bunch of random books romantic comedies same time next summer for her consideration the summer place a spencer's guide to danger and dukes the do-over the unhoneymooners better than the movies the kiss quotient the bride test the heart principle part of your world or truly the happy ever after playlist i need to read abby's new book that came out this year i don't know why i didn't think to pick it up at barnes when i was there it completely just escaped me <laughs> and i need to order on amazon now and i have the selection series which whoa that's not how this goes here we go. Then I have the selection series and then I have a bunch of random Christmas books that I didn't know where to put. I also have Jane Austen, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Romeo and Juliet, and then 1984. I kind of put them at the end of the Christmas book section because I didn't know where to put them and what to do with them. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out, especially how my fantasy books over here look. Like this is probably my favorite bookshelf out of all three. Also, this bookshelf has most of my favorite books so maybe that's why i'm a little biased and i love that one the most i do want to buy some lights and put them underneath each shelf i think that will look really cute maybe like motion sensor lights i think that would be really nice that is what i have so far i actually think i'm going to end off this vlog here i do want to continue organizing my bookshelves but i think i'm going to start a new vlog where i focus on creating and finishing my reading nook in our bedroom i think that would be really fun to have a whole video dedicated to my reading 
Beauty Nook once I find the chair that I want, which I think I found it. I just need to order it. But once that chair comes in, I'll finish decorating and organizing for good all of my books and showing you guys, obviously. I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here since I think this vlog is pretty long as it is. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.